hello uh, welcome guys uh, this is my channel english for professionals by sunet tushara today i'm going to discuss proper use of the indefinite article a and a and so this is this seems very simple but uh, when we uh, go further into this lesson you will see it is not that simple and uh, it needs uh, more uh, much understanding on this subject okay so what is this indefinite article in english indefinite article is used to refer to a person or thing that is not identified or specified used only for the singular noun say a boy gave me this book so this can be any boy okay a boy gave me this book it can be any boy contrast with the boy gave me this book you know that boy okay so your daughter is uh, uh, coming with the book and you ask uh, who gave this book a boy gave me this book so that means she doesn't know who is that boy then if she says the boy gave me this book that means some at some time that she has told you who is that boy maybe your servant the boy then uh, i want to buy a book so that's any book so you are going to uh, uh, say some uh, book fair or anything so you you go and say i want to buy a book so that can be any book then contrast with i want to buy the book you know what that book is okay so uh, you and your friend you talked about ah, there's a good book has come from england uh, so we want to uh, buy it then uh, yesterday you talked and then today some uh, your friend asks where are you going i want to buy the book so i am going to book fair okay so see the difference when it comes to a book it can be any book the book you know uh, so that is why it is there it is called indefinite article so there is some the the it is not defined okay then uh, so we'll uh, go to some examples i would like an apple and some grapes okay i would like an apple and some grapes so that means you want an apple one apple and some grapes so then the second one i have a hundred reasons to reject this proposal so why this re, uh, re, hundred reasons is underlined here yeah, hundred reasons is plural then why there is a, a is it wrong no it is not wrong because you are putting this a to this 100 okay i have 100 reasons to reject this proposal so instead of one you put a i have a hundred reasons to reject this proposal then a man and a woman make a couple okay don't say a man and woman make a couple so that means man and woman both are same there is one uh, particular uh, entity uh, so it is a man also a woman so then you can say a man and woman make a couple that is the meaning you are getting otherwise we have to say a man and a woman make a couple i don't have a penny in my pocket so that means uh, you have become a beggar okay so you don't have a penny then i want a basket and a mop maybe he is trying to uh, mop the floor i want a basket and a mop you want a basket and a mop okay don't say i want a basket and mop so uh, the answer is, then the the, the uh, meaning is if you say i want a basket and mop you can't say but you, you can say i want a basket and the mop so that means the mop is already there and you know it there is a mop but you don't know whether a bucket so a basket is available okay uh, then uh, i watched a jack and jill play at the theater i watched a jack and jill play at the theater now you see jack and jill here it's a uh, name okay the name of the play is jack and jill and it is one of many jack and jills that is why you say i watch a jack candy otherwise you could say i watch jack candy play at the theater okay 
then uh, we will see correct use of a uh, and an. Now some people uh, pronounce this as a, especially in American English, and here the same thing, an. In British English we call it a uh, and an. We are to use a, a. Uh. A is used before a constant that everybody knows, a boy, a girl, a man, a bicycle. A is used, a is used before a constant sound, say a university, although this is a vowel, the sound is constant, a university, a one-eyed man, O is a vowel, but the sound is v, a one-eyed man, a European agency, E is a vowel, but the sound you are getting with the combination of E and U is U, a European agency. Then A is used before a constant sounding letter, like she had a B pass in this semester. She had a B pass in this semester. Okay. Take a U-turn. Don't say take an U-turn. No. Take a U-turn in the next row. Okay. So we have to use A. A is used before a constant. A is used before a constant sound. And A is used before a constant sounding letter. Then we have to use an. An is used before a vowel. Say an apple, an era, an institution, an orange, an umbrella. So here A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels of uh, the English alphabet. Then an is used before a vowel sound. An honor. Here H is silent. So why, why I say an hotel? Usually we say hotel. Yeah, that's true. If you say hotel, use a hotel. But in uh, some places people people make this H silent they say hotel hotel like that so in that case you have to say an hotel if you say hotel a hotel otherwise if you say hotel say an hotel an honest man that you know because H is silent then an is used before a vowel sounding letter she is having an MA degree, not she is having a MA degree. That's wrong. Because when it comes M, it is E sound, so it should be an. She is having an MA degree. There is an L shaped apartment in the corner. There is an L shaped apartment in the corner. Even though this is a constant, uh, a sound is E, L. There is an L shaped apartment in the corner. Some rules to use the indefinite article. Never use a or an with the plural noun. Instead, use some. There are some children in the garden. Though you don't say there are there are a children in the garden. You don't say. Uh, usually, you have to say either you can use some or you can totally omit it. You can say there are children in the garden. There is a child in the garden. There are ch children in the garden. Or you can say there are some children in the garden. Never you say and when you try to portray the whole class. Don't say a cow is a useful animal. You have to say cow is a useful animal. Not a cow. That means a cow means a particular cow. Here the cow means the whole species. Omitting a and can change the meaning considerably. There are a few who want democracy. There are a few who want democracy. So what is the difference? There are a few who want democracy. That means the others don't like the democracy. There are a few who want democracy means within some group there are a few people who want democracy. Okay. There is a difference in the meaning. Then uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon to get more videos like this. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.